Hi there, welcome to my channel. I'm Emma and this is So Do It Emma. This is my channel where I talk all about dressmaking, fabrics and patterns. In today's video I'll be talking all about my November mix, which is quite small, but if you want to hear all about them, go and get yourself a cuppa and I'll be back after this intro. I've got three makes for my November makes. It's been quite quiet. Um, purely because there's been a few things that have been a slow show, show and I've just kind of slowed down this month. I'm not quite sure if there's a reason for it, like health-wise or just just slowing down but never mind i'm sure it'll be fine so um i am wearing i'll just sort out my necklace it's a tatty divine sorry necklace that i got about three years ago um and i'm wearing it with my new hot off the press um seamwork oliver in a gorgeous soft knit from So Me Sunshine. Um, I did check and I don't look like she's got any more in stock but do keep an eye on it if it does come in stock because it's absolutely gorgeous. It's in the rust colour um, and it feels so cosy. So yes, um, same work all over it. It goes up to a 0 to 26 in US sizes. And I know it goes over a 57 inch hip. So, yes, um, I've made one before. I absolutely loved it. I really like the sleeve de detail because right there, there's like a, there's a two part sleeve. So, you've got one at the shoulder right here and then you've got the sleeve which is two parts so kind of cuts off at the elbow and it's really nice and snugly this um fabric i think it suits it quite well um it's a black fit <clears throat> definitely worth a mention follow before that i'm just made another sweater and that is a sierra sweater this is a brand new pattern from stay stitch patterns and i made my tester version out of a velvet um this is a navy velvet from um first for fabrics and i think it's a stock of denmark alavana velvet um, I've had it in my stash for quite some time. It went into the stash, didn't sell, surprisingly. Very weird. Um, and I pulled it out of my de stash pile and I thought, why not? It looks super cosy. I used remnants of cuffs, cuffing, ribbing, um, CX6 that I use on a jarra and I had some left over so for contrasting I use a green and um, green ribbing on the blue velvet and I think it really works um, and it's super cosy super comfortable I did a double pleat on the sleeve now the pattern comes with three options for the sleeves zero pleats or you can have one pleat or two pleats so I went with the double pleat. Doesn't really show off in the velvet, but I think if you've got a French terry or something quite structured, like maybe a ponte, then it would really emphasise those pleats. But I'm super pleased with it. Super cosy. And it's really comfortable. It's I think it's one of those jumpers where I'll just wear hanging about the house. Um, it tends to get a lot of dog fluff and other fluff sticking to it because it is velvet 
Velvet. Velvet. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so that is that. Whilst I was sewing this up, I was trying to do a twirl for the Dawn trousers um, or jeans. It's kind of worked out. Now, I used a stretch cotton that I had in my stash for some time. I think I was going to make up, I think, a shift dress or something similar. Um, and I haven't done it, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to use this for a dawn swell because it's similar stretch to the corduroy that I really want to use from the rag shop for a blog post um, and so I did that. Now it's not a total fail, I know where I need to adjust so definitely I need to do a tummy adjustment and a bum adjustment or bottom adjustment. Um, looking at the footage back so it's not a complete fail but i really wanted to try and press on and get those this corduroy from the rag shop sewn up and it's a beauty it is handled so well and um, i'll be talking about them more in a blog post once that goes live um, I'll tell you all about it on my Instagram page when it goes live and you'll probably see the rag post promoting it as well so I can't wait to show photos of my Yanta overalls um, so as a win-win um, I can definitely see some other rag shop makes that made with the rag shop fabric or a blog post with the rag shop um, my rag shop wardrobe um yeah so it, it's definitely going to be a work staple i can't wait so yeah the dawn weren't a complete complete utter failure they're just a work in progress and i'm going to pick them up once i try and get my list of things that i need to get done prior to the 31st of December I really want to try and work on my timing and how much work I take on last but not least um, it's my third official make and it's the Courtney top from Marsha Style. Now this came out the 1st of November. I had made it in October but I thought you know what it can be sneaked into November just to bump it up in November makes. So I made this out of a William Morris print cotton lawn. I think I got this print from the cloth shop in Edinburgh which is now sadly closed. It's closed before the pandemic hit so nothing to do with covid just like business just wasn't doing that great so yes that's kind of sad because they had lots of fabrics when you went in and um, to choose from and my bank manager going no don't choose to spend any more money on fabric and you know, they would walk out with a nice big bag of fabric but never mind Anyway, Courtney Top. I love this. Um, I was one of the first testers to test this. And I don't know how I did it, but I did the buttonholes wrong. Um, I somehow did the placket and I put buttons on top. And the buttonholes on the back. So that doesn't work game well. So I was like, oh. I mean, I could actually try and redo the placket. And cut that out. And sew it all back in. But yeah, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. But I love it. I love wearing it. I think on future garments I'm going to go the size down because there's a lot of ease in, in the Courtney top um, 
but I love how it goes with my um, Celine Colors and also the Portobello trousers as well as like jeans and things like that so it's a win-win I don't think I've had any massive like failures to be honest this month um, it's been work in progress and I'm learning lots even throughout the year but yeah I'm super happy with the Courtney top um, I put little silver buttons oh, did I? Oh. I, I don't know I put Was it pink? I'll have to look. I'll show you in a photo. <laughs> I put lovely little buttons on it, um, which you can kind of see. And I sewed up the placket slightly just so it wouldn't flip open um, as it's not a real working placket due to my silliness. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this November make. Um, I know. I don't know what's happened this month. I usually have a really busy month and then the next couple of months I'm quite slower and quieter. Um, yeah, but can't win them all. So, but um, I've got a few things to do for December. So I'm going to get on with these. So I hope you all have a good day and before I go I just want to say a huge thank you to someone who has made a donation to my coffee account. Um, it's the first one. Um, thank you Angela if you're watching this video. It means so much um, and hopefully it will be towards my new laptop when that comes um yeah if it's not towards that it will be towards equipment for the channel and things like that and um, there's a couple other big purchases that i would like to do it's um a vlogging camera z v1 sony vlogging camera it's got a microphone and everything like that so i'm kind of looking at that but I definitely think I'm going to have to get a job. I know that for a fact. Um, so I can put some of my money towards that. Um, and save up for that. I know. <laughs> and not buy fabric. If I'm going to save up for that. I've got enough beautiful fabric in here. And that's another video that I'm going to have to get going on as well. So do look out for that. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do consider subscribing. If you've got any comments, just pop them in below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And in the meantime, I hope you all keep safe, aware and enjoy sewing.